first thing to know is you've got Now the problem with Klein's amazing colour was Important point of note before we look at this amazing paint and how it acts on your work is that Hi everybody, how are you doing? I thought today we'd take a little look at this stuff which I call Easy Klein, or an incredibly Kleinish blue. Now to understand this paint and why I made it, I have to tell you a little bit about Yves Klein himself, um, the artist who created this amazing paint in collaboration with a guy in Paris at the time. Now this formula of paint was so special and acted in a way that no acrylic paint had ever acted before. So much so that Klein registered the recipe for his paint and Adam in Paris are the only people who can make it. Now the problem with Klein's amazing colour was that it was a bit smelly, it was really difficult to use and it was kind of complicated. So we set about to mimic his paint and make an accessible, affordable acrylic that anybody could use in their work to get the same kind of powdery, deep blue effect that Klein got in his pieces. I'm gonna show you what it does and we're gonna see how it dries because that's when it becomes really, really special. Important point of note before we look at this amazing paint and how it acts on your work is that Eve Klein is an utter hero of mine. He's not a colour criminal, he didn't go around owning things and stopping people using them. He was a deeply conceptual artist that made his colour for all the right reasons. The only issue with it was it was so hard to use and apply so it was hard for you and me to be able to use it and that's why I've made Easy Klein for everybody. He called his colour International Klein Blue and I've called ours Incredibly Kleinish Blue. And in the box, before we dive in, I want to show you this. It comes, Klein Blue, comes with absolutely nothing. Um, so every single purchase of Klein Blue comes with absolutely nothing. And that's a homage to Klein, who was one of the first people in the world to sell nothing. Let's have a look. The first thing to know is you've got to shake it. I say shake well before use for a reason. If you don't shake the paint well, it's going to come out a little bit runny. And you absolutely don't want that with Easy Climb. The whole point is the finish of it, not just the colour, but the finish. And it's a very deep, beautiful blue. And you'll see it comes out lovely acrylic. Now to get the finish out of this paint, it needs to do a couple of things. It needs to be very flat, very matte, but it also needs an awful lot of pigment in it because if you've seen any of Klein's work in real life, the thing that you'll notice is when it dries, it dries almost powdery and that's what we want to achieve here. To do that, I've used a very special blend of different acrylic resins and the right pigments and a couple of mattifiers that mean when it dries, it goes almost velvety. And we learned how to do that with some of the other paints we made, like what we were doing with the black paint. So obviously Klein is very, very famous for making his blue canvases. He also dipped human bodies in blue paint and pressed them against the surface as well. So let's see if we can make a mini Klein blue painting together with this amazing paint. Now you can see the coverage is incredible and that's because of the quality of the ingredients in the paint. You can only do this if you use really great pigments and really great binders. And that's what makes the paint so special. And the tiniest bit, as always, goes a very long way. You'll also notice, if you smell it, it smells a little bit like a well-known um, perfume brand from the 90s. In fact, it smells a little bit like a 90s disco. And that's deliberate as well. But don't worry, once it dries, it doesn't really smell like a 90s disco anymore. But it's a little bit of fun when you use it because it's, this paint is as much an artwork as it is a material. It's really about um, a lot of the ideas that Klein put into his work, actually. Okay, so that's the first coat dry, and you'll see it's gone very matte, very flat, and the lovely, rich, deep, velvety blue. So the second coat will probably do it. Nice and thin. The most important thing to remember when you use any of the paints is less is always more. We don't want brush strokes. So 
use the tiniest bit of paint and try and get it to go as far as humanly possible. It's always better to build up a few very thin layers rather than one very thick, gloopy one. Okay, so there you go, second coat. We'll let that dry and then we'll see how our Klein Blue canvas looks. And there you go, the second layer, very flat, very matte, reflecting almost no light, very even, very flat. But I want to give it a third coat because in my mind I want it to look really, really powdery and lovely. And I'm reminded of the first time I ever saw a Klein painting in real life. I think I was a teenager, I went up to the Tate and they had one there and it blew my mind, this blue. I'd never seen colour like it and unfortunately your screen and this camera can't show this colour because it's a natural colour. It's not able to be mixed by the pixels on your screen, which is why you need to get out and look at real art actually because real colour is always so much more exciting than the colour you can get in a book or on a screen. So go and look at real paintings. And when you see a real pine, it's almost like you get swallowed up in it. Right, so we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna have our very own Klein Blue canvas. And there it is, three coats in, our very own Klein Blue painting. And you'd be forgiven for thinking, well, it's a lot smaller, it's just like the real thing. But of course, you can use this blue acrylic paint in your larger works. And here's one I've started recently where I'm using this deep blue to take us all the way back and create a real depth in the work. So there you go, I hope you enjoy using Klein Blue. It's a really exciting paint. And as I say, something that we've never really been able to use as artists unless we could be bothered to mix up the weird potion from the guy in Paris. So hopefully you'll start using this in your work and loads more people can embrace the beauty of this amazing material. But it isn't just about the color, it's about the texture, the surface, and also the amazing artistic conceptual legacy that Eve Klein left us all. And I urge you to look up his work and really get familiar with what he was doing and what he was saying, because he's a really important man. He's very close to my heart. So this is in homage to him, really. Enjoy it.